Welcome back. Let's move on to sports. Here's Charles Aruka. This is the ultimate redefined for men. Welcome to Sports News. Six players and two coaches from Brazil have been contracted to feature for Nigeria Professional Football League outfit FC Fanyuba for the 2015-2016 season. The Brazilians will join the rest of the team in Ibadan Oyo State where they are currently camped in preparation for the new season. In table tennis, with the ongoing Hungarian Open kick starting the 20th anniversary of the International Table Tennis Federation World Tour, the World Table Tennis ruling body has confirmed that the Lagos Open will serve off from May the 18th to the 22nd. As one of the challenge series, the Lagos Open is expected to attract players from Europe, Asia and Africa as the tournament serves as a qualifying event for the World Tour Finals. In tennis, defending champion Novak Djokovic cruised into the Australian Open third round with a straight sets win over hugely talented French teenager Quentin Halley. Djokovic was at his clinically efficient best as he romps to a 6-1, 6-2, win. World number three Roger Federer also advanced to the third round with a straight sets win over practice partner Alexander Dolgopolov. In the women's event, a world number one Serena Williams and Maria Sharapova are through to the third round of the Australian Open after comprehensive wins. Williams steamrolls Taiwan's C.S. Su Wei, 6-1, 6-2, as she aims to equal Steffi Graf's open-era record of 22 Grand Slam titles over the next two weeks. Earlier, Sharapova advanced to the third round when she beat Alexandra Sasnovich of Belarus, 6-2, 6-1. And that's game set and match on Sports News and back to Joma with the rest of the news at 10. This is the ultimate redefined for men. Now, the gun and bomb attack on a university in northwest Pakistan has ended with the help of the security forces there. The attackers had struck around 9.30 a.m. and engaged security forces in an intense gun battle. And the main news again. The Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation has shut the Port Harcourt and Kaduna refineries, resulting in mounting anxiety over fuel supply. NNPC explained that the closure is as a result of challenges recorded in supply of crude owing to recent attacks on vital oil pipelines. Well, that's the news at 10 tonight. Thanks a lot for staying with us. I'm Ijo Mahunyato. Do have a good night.